We recognise that in-house uh, are legal leaders, they're leaders within the organisation. And in organisations, in complex organisations, they're often well positioned to spot some of these polarised arguments. Uh, homeworking versus office working, or centralisation versus decentralisation, or local focus, uh, often wrestling with global focus. Uh, and they live and they breathe these things around themselves all the time. And we wanted to give them a methodology that allowed them to have a voice to bring some clarity and some sanity to often what are arguments that there really shouldn't be arguments at all. Because some of these arguments are a little bit like breathing, breathing in and breathing out, right? If you could have the breathing out brigade, we want rid of CO2, and you could have the breathing in brigade, we want O2. Actually, they're, they're kind of a silly argument if you look at it from the perspective of we just want to live. You know, it's not one is better than the other, you have to do both. And in organisations, what is the organisation actually trying to do? And where do some of these home working, office working, centralisation, decentralisation, local working, global working, where do they actually fit within that wider overarching purpose? And paradox mindset is a way of framing those often polarised debates as actually part of a system existing and trying to be successful. We recognised that while there's a lot written about leaders and leadership, and a lot, a lot is written about general counsel and what it means to be a good GC, there was very little, and I say very little, I'm guarding myself because there might be something and somebody will very quickly tell me I'm wrong, but I couldn't find anything that combined the two things together and spoke about the unique position of being a GC leader and we wanted a way to help encourage GC leaders to be able to step back and be strategic in how they think, how they act and how they influence across an organisation and couple that with a clear understanding about how they need to show up in order to create direction, alignment and commitment, the three indicators that leadership are taking place. So we had to create one and that's what this is. I think my strongest advice is focus on what you're doing today what this says about what you're doing and figure out either in conversation with yourself or other people you trust what you need to be doing more of or less of tomorrow leadership is often seen as something that's known i would say it's something that's done so use this as a provocation to yourself to ask what are you doing and what could you be doing in order to be a more effective strategic leader.